Moving on to Fiji, the villages are inundated by rising sea levels. Now the villages are demanding the big emitters to pay. They say that developed nations that contributed the most to global warming. Now these nations must protect the victims of their actions. The village elders of Fiji's Sarua Island always thought they would be buried here alongside the chiefs. That was before the impacts of climate change. Now, at high tide, the rising Pacific Ocean breaches the sea wall and floods the village. Salt water inundating gardens. The community is running out of ways to adapt and now faces the same painful decision as many other coastal villages here. Stay or relocate to Fiji's main island to secure a future for the next generation. I'm going to miss everything that's surrounding this island, the trees, everything, the atmosphere, but we need to do something. Resident Samisi Madanawa says the 80 villagers must move, given the flooding, erosion and exposure to extreme weather. Uh, the water comes in and uh, we are talking about, talking about, uh, discussing among ourselves to like relocate or get uh, land reclamation done in the island and uh, building a seawall. This is one community that has successfully relocated from their old village of Vuni Dogoloa in 2014. That move made Fiji the first Pacific Island nation to relocate a community because of rising sea levels. Yes, to relocate, it was a, a scratch for my community. Silosi Ramatu was village headman at the time of the move. He and the villagers had invited officials to see how they lived, with water up to their knees. Ramatu says salt water had destroyed the ability of the 150 residents to grow crops, but that it still took time to persuade the elders to move. He and many others still visit the old village almost daily to reconnect with their past and feel the presence of their families and former chiefs who remain buried here. We miss this community so much, you know, because we learned many things about custom tradition, the way of life here, as we are Fijian, uh, how we link to the soil, how we link to the land we live, in our culture, we understand uh, as we were taught from our parents. Because we left our grandparents parents behind. We left our big houses behind. Uh, we left the sea. Many Fijians say they want developed nations that contributed the most to global warming to not only curb their emissions, but pay for the steps islanders are having to take. Six Fiji villagers have moved or plan to with government support, and a new process to prioritise the most urgent relocations is still under development. We, work, we want to say if the world can work together, the leaders of the world can work together, in any means to combat to the impact of climate change, you know, to make a decision. Madanawa is unsure when it will be feasible for his village to relocate due to funding and the hesitation of many village elders to leave their homes. But he knows change has to happen. It takes time, it takes time uh, for an idea to settle uh, in the hearts of us uh, human beings so that we can accept the changes that are coming. Yeah? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.